So you want to know how to use the Morning Fame keyword research tool to grow your YouTube channel? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Morning Fame keyword tool to grow my channel to over 7,000 subscribers and counting, all right? So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve, all right? So with that being said, we're going to jump right into today's content. All right, so we're going to get into how I actually use it personally, but then I'm also going to show you the processes of how you can actually use it the way it should be used, right? I use it a little bit differently. I don't go through every single tab, but let's actually get into it. So first things first, when you come in, right, this is going to be attached to your YouTube account, and then they're going to show you a ranking opportunity rating. So this is going to be your actual channel data. And this is what I love you know, so much about this tool is that it's not just going to show you how the keywords are just on a, you know, like a general basis. It's going to show you how they will work with your specific channel. OK, so you can see I have seven thousand four hundred seven thousand four hundred subscribers. 385 views per video, 25 likes per video, and 13 comments per video, okay? That's all on average. So it's gonna take that data and then it's gonna gamify the process throughout uh, the Morning Fame uh, tool. So you can see there's the topic, the topic tab, the keyword tab, the search tab, and the optimize tab. And then this is right here, just like some additional information that you can have and some tips and different things like that. All right. And it lets you know more about, you know, the main purpose for morning fame. All right. So boom, you, you start from here. If the, the typical way would be to start from tab number one and go throughout the process all the way to tab number four. Now, when I do it, I actually go straight to tab number three because I kind of already know, you know, the different topics that, you know, that I talk about on my channel, right? So I'll just put like a search term right in there, just the base search term so I can start looking for different, you know, opportunities. But you watching this video, you probably want to know how to actually um, you know, go about using it. So first things first is you want to go to top topic, uh, the topic tab. And then what you want to do is you can either do, you have a video topic in mind, and then you can put a search term in here. Like say, for example, it was credit repair or affiliate marketing or whatever. Right. And then when you put it in there, right. So I'll show you what happens. So when I put in affiliate marketing, Boom, you see what it's going to do is it's going to bring me over to tab number two, which is the keyword tab. Now, you can see this is the keyword uh, and then they give you grades. OK, so everything that you see on this side, which are common keywords, are going to be great choices for larger channels. Anything over here where you see uncommon keywords, these are going to be great choices for smaller channels. Now, of course. Uh, based on your data, some of these grades will vary, right? Your grades may not be the exact same thing that you see as mine. If you have a larger channel, you may have even better grades, okay? So I like that it does that so you can kind of get a gauge. Okay, I have a smaller channel. I might want to focus on that side of the um, that side of the house, all right? And then as you continue to go down, they also show you common hashtags, right? So if people are using these hashtags quite a bit. You could actually leverage using the hashtags because that's something that actually that's actually something that you know YouTube uh, allows you to use now, and then uncommon hashtags. So pretty much the same concept um, as far as like big channels, smaller channels, right? These are more like the hashtags that not a lot of uh, not a lot of people are actually using. So keep that in mind. All right, and then they're also going to show you the top ranking video. So they're letting me know, okay, this is the video that's drove the most amount of traffic, and these are the keywords that they're actually using. Now, something that I um, I also like that it does, if I go back up here and then I go to show more, it's going to show me even more keywords. Now, so sometimes you'll actually get where you'll see a keyword, and then you'll be able to like, uh, if it doesn't have any grades, you'll be able to like, like for example, this one, right? I'll click on it and then I'll do a quick lookup. And then what it'll do is it's going to give me a grade. So if I hit quick lookup, watch what happens. It's going to give me a grade here in a moment. 
All right, so boom, so it gave me a grade, so it let me know where I stand with that keyword. So that wouldn't be a very good idea to actually go for that, right? Now, in this case, what do you do from this point? So from this point, let's say that I wanted to go with what is affiliate marketing and how does it work? So then I would click this and then I could do a quick look up for, you know, some accurate data, but it does say from a search up to 30 days ago. So I'll do a quick look up to see if they give me something more recent. All right, so I had, okay, so boom. So they gave me something from 18 hours ago based on the data that I have for my channel. So in this case, I may say, okay, let's choose for step number three. Then it takes me over to this page where it shows me the grades. So you can see it shows me subscribers, views, likes, and uh, likes, comments, and the relevance. So something that's so important on YouTube is the relevancy because YouTube ranks videos based off of relevancy. Yes, there's a whole bunch of other different factors, but that one plays a big role because you're relevant, right? You have the right keywords, you have the right, you have your, your uh, search term in your um, description and in your title and so on and so on, right? Like I said, there's a lot of different factors, but they use these to determine how you're gonna fare inside of the algorithm. Now, if you've been on my channel, you've been a subscriber for quite some time, you know I've ranked hundreds of videos here on this channel in the top places, okay? So, and and you know, and you can, and there's many videos, so you can definitely check that out, you know, throughout my channel and so on and so on. So now, it's giving me a 27, right? This is this is like the search volume based around in, in, uh, in, uh, morning fame this is not the actual search volume this is just giving you because everything is like game of gamified right so you can see here 27 and then it says info so what it does is it says these are common search term this is a common search term for youtube and google so you can have the potential to actually rank on google for a keyword like this as well so that's why you see a double check if you see a single check then it's more common on youtube now you can see right here it says search volume level they're telling you you want to aim for nine or higher based on the system that they actually have so you can see right here 27 they're telling me to get they're telling me at least nine so I'm good to go now from this point you can see I have an a relevance with 195 46 and then I have an e, an e and a D typically when I see this like if I see grades set up exactly like this I'm going for it right that's me personally right because I I'm very confident in my SEO uh, my YouTube ranking skills so now I would hit choose for step four and you see it took me straight into it so you can see I actually already had a video um, that I was I, I figured I was actually gonna do this video at some point right and I just hadn't done it yet so boom it takes me right into the same setup as if I was like on YouTube um, putting together my title my description and my tags so pretty much boom it gives me um, the title this is the keyword I'm trying to rank for now I want to show you something what happens right so if I go ahead and take this away you see that makes my relevance drop right to drop all the way to 80 now if I put that back boom it went from 80 all the way up to 95 so that lets you know that it is all about your relevancy how relevant are you that's why most of my videos you'll see that I'll put the keyword up front like I'll front load it in front of the you know the other stuff so I may put like the front load will be the keyword and then the the other half would be something to get a human to click right so that should be your strategy or you can even do the human stuff up front and then have your keyword on the back end but understand that you are um, you are going to be lacking some of the relevancy and I'll show you exactly what I mean so I'll go ahead and put this back in and then what I'll do is I'll put like secrets revealed so you see how the relevancy is going to drop right so I'm going to show you here in a minute so secrets revealed you see how it went from a 95 and it dropped to a 92 so that lets you know right off the bat that if you don't put your if you don't front load your keyword then you're going to be lacking some of the relevancy that you need now if I go ahead and front load it again boom it goes right back to a, a relevancy so this what this is doing this is ensuring that you know I'll have a, a high enough relevance to at least rank at some point you know on the first page right of course there's different strategies that I apply um, to be able to do that and like I said I've done that multiple times here on this channel right it's just if you understand the strategy if you understand what you need to do um, you'll be able to rank a lot of different things all right so after this point like I said I always do something like at the end to make people click 
Um, and then also I make sure I do the same thing when it comes to the thumbnail. Now the description, all right? So I keep this just like this, right? And if you've ever seen most of my descriptions, you'll see I have that. And then right under that, I'll have like, you know, whatever links that are gonna be corresponding to whatever content, content I'm putting out or like my number one recommended way to earn. I also have like my call to action in there, you know, just in case I give that call to action at some point in the video. And then what I do is, give me a second here. Um, what I do is I actually go, go. Bef I, I make sure I do my proper research, right? I do my research. I go on Google. I get keywords. I go and see what people are searching for. I use, you know, like different, different, um, you know, different tools to be able to gather, you know, these, these type of keywords, right? Now, once I get my keywords, then I come back up into the description and based on the keywords that I have here, I mostly focus on the ones that have like the yellow on it. Right. So those are the ones that I'll actually include in my descriptions, not like a lot of them because you don't want to keyword stuff. And what I love that this tool actually does is if I do like highlight tags, right, it'll highlight to show like, you know, like the keyword density. And it will even tell you like if you just if you just put like a whole bunch of keywords in there to try to like stuff, it'll literally say beware of keyword stuffing so that'll let you know so that anytime I'm writing my description I keep this on so that anytime that comes up I'll delete the keyword and then I'll just kind of formulate my my bio um, you know even more right so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna actually go to uh, one of the videos that I actually did rather recently so if I go to this you can see boom I put the emotional thing the thing that's gonna get people to click in the front this time and then I put the actual keyword on the back end right so yes I lack some of the, the the relevancy but I was okay with that right because I understood right I'm trying to get people to actually click on this because I know what I have to you know I know what I have for them is gonna be valuable right so you could do that sometimes you know if you got that valuable you know that valuable punch okay all right so in the description like I said I take the title put the title right there and then, um, you know, I have my call to action to whatever it is that, you know, they may look down and, you know, it's, it's real important for you to give your call to action if you're actually trying to get people to actually go to that call to action. Boom. I give my subscribe. I say, hey, this is how you can reach out. And then boom, just like I said, I actually use the, the density tool and you can see attractive gems, attractive gems and attractive gems. I only put my keyword in there three times, my main keyword, but then I use other keywords throughout it, but I don't stuff it. Right. So let me see if I can actually pull it to where it'll it'll like say beware of keyword stuffing. So real quick, let me try to make it do it so you can actually see what exactly what I'm talking about. So let's try to use attractive uh, gems uh, credit card to try to see will it do that little beware of keyword stuffing. So let's do stay tuned to find out about. Let's see if it actually copied. OK, so there it is right there. Exactly what I was talking about. You see, it says beware of keyword stuffing and then show details. YouTube recommends to use natural language, not just a stream of keywords. This means if you include too many tags in your description, YouTube may see this as spam. The limit of how and then it says the limit of how many are too much is unknown, but better focus on the most relevant tags only. That's why I said I focus on the ones that are in yellow, right? Those are the ones that I actually include inside of my description, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take that back off. Right, because you can see that would have been too much. So keyword density is also important because even if you rank up at the top initially, you may start to droop down because you know YouTube's robots or whatever are gonna start to notice, like, oh, okay, hmm, this person is keyword stuffing. It's time to drop him down a little bit, right? And then eventually you'll get to a point where you're not even showing up at all anymore. And that sucks. All right. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much the main. Uh, the main thing when it comes to the description, the keyword density, and every other thing that I've talked about so far. Now, and then lastly, of course, you want to have your tags, but I kind of talked about that already. And then different keyword research methods, there's tons of them actually out there. Now, at this point, 
You can also do pinned comments, right? So you can go ahead and just formulate whatever your pinned comment is gonna be right here. So once your video is posted, all you gotta do is just hit copy to the clipboard and it is literally ready to go. Now this right here, I love this because what it does is it lets you see everybody that you will be competing with. It lets you see their thumbnails. So then you can come in and you can be like, okay they got this on their thumbnail okay this is actually working and then what i do is i actually go look at the video to see okay got this amount of views okay what keywords are they using and then i'll be able to like kind of see okay how can i make my thumbnail stand out a lot more than theirs right and that's kind of what i look at and one of the colors that i use because i know that this color catches you know the eye quicker than any other color out there is red right so once once they see they see that red you know quicker than they can you see any other color as you can see he used red right here another red because he probably understands that exact same thing right so it's so important for you to you know do like uh, analysis of what's going on and you know morning fame allows you to do that right so you can go and see what kind of keywords your competitors are using what title they're using and you can kind of start to tweak you know the different things right and i i, I get so excited you know like pumped up when it comes to like this youtube stuff and just you know ranking videos like because that's what i love to do I, I enjoy being able to do that because that skill set has literally changed my life that skill set has continued to pay me over and over again because of my ability to rank videos and i want to be able to help you to do the exact same thing right so what i've done is i've actually put together a free course okay this course is going to lay out you know what i've used over the last couple of years and you know at any point after you you go through it you're like okay this was valuable but i need some more rakeem right if that's the case then at the end of that uh there'll be like a mini offer for you to actually like you know get a one-on-one -on -one session with me and i'm actually currently working on my youtube course so definitely stay tuned uh, for that particular course. All right. So with that being said, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.